This is anatomy and physiology lesson 20, and we're looking at factors affecting VO2 max. And hopefully by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to describe what VO2 max is. Uh, we've already looked at the definition briefly in previous videos, and hopefully you'll be able to explain the factors that affect a performer's VO2 max. So just to remind us what VO2 max is, it's the maximum volume of oxygen that can be used up, utilised by muscles per minute or per unit of time. And it's measured in millilitres per kilogram per minute. So it takes into account a person's body weight. And it's really important measure of aerobic fitness. So um, for any elite performer, if they um, join a club uh, or if they want to assess the importance of a, or the effectiveness of a training programme, they will take part in a VO2 max test, but particularly for games players and long distance runners, triathletes, etc. The higher the VO2 max, the higher what's known as the aerobic power. And it means that they can get more oxygen supplied to the muscles, so they are able to work at a high intensity for longer and delay the onset of blood lactic acid and that lactic acid buildup. Performers with a high VO2 max are able to recover more quickly as we've got more increased oxygen due to lower intensity periods of play and they can regenerate all their stores and it allows for more frequent sprints. However, the level of VO2 max is genetically determined so we can train to improve our VO2 max but most of our VO2 max limitations are genetically de uh, predetermined which is why obviously elite performers have some form of genetics that allows them to have a higher VO2 max and be more successful elite performers. So we need to know the factors that affect a person's VO2 max. Um, so physiological factors all increase VO2 max. As a result of training, aerobic training, if you have increased stroke volume, for example, increased myoglobin, all of these, anything to do with in getting more oxygen to the muscles means we'll have a higher VO2 max. Uh, lifestyle. If you have poor lifestyle factors, if you smoke, poor diet, if you're um, lacking exercise, then you're going to be reducing your VO2 max, whereas trained performers are likely to make more positive lifestyle choices and have a higher VO2 max. As I've already mentioned, inherited factors from your parents will limit possible improvements. Elite aerobic performers are likely to be born with good genetics. Uh, training is one thing we can do to improve our VO2 max. In particular, aerobic training can improve your VO2 max by only up to 10 to 20%. Uh, age, VO2 max decreases with age as your physiological factors and your ability to get oxygen to your muscles reduces. Uh, as you know, elite performers are relatively young when they are at their peak. A body composition, so the high percent of your body fat decreases VO2 max. And as you know, elite performers tend to have a low percentage body for body fat. And gender. Unfortunately, females, men generally have a higher VO2 max, potentially 20% higher VO2 max than females. So just a short video on VO2 max. We need to know how it's defined, how it's measured, and looking at the factors that affect VO2 max. So make notes in your green books.